life can be a struggle. Sometimes the internet is intergoogly. It is. Folks, it's good to be with you today. With Dylan James Cock on the drums. He's got his uh, Space Jam shirt. He got that down in Atlanta, Georgia. And we got Turn of the Burner also with a very delicious looking uh, outer raiment on his. <laughs> Uh, I myself am wearing the Fuppet t-shirt that Dylan designed years ago, and I'm wearing it today, and playing this here Stratocaster. Midnight Molly in the house. And we got Michael Burrell, we got Eric Gale. Eric Gale, I still have to get a hold of that pickup guy, I just haven't pulled the, I haven't pulled the pin yet. I, every time I think about doing something that old telly, I always get a little... I just start going, well, how am I going to get those pickups out? How am I going to get to the guy? Do I got to insure it? Forgot I how much. They just wait till next time I'm out there, bring the whole guitar. That's why I haven't done anything yet. Uh, anyways, folks, we're going to, uh, Michael Burrell says he still wears his Fuppet t-shirt. That's what I'm talking about. All right, we're going to play some jams for you, if that's all right. We got some jams today. Am I feeding back a little bit? That freaking thing. Good God. You want to point that a little bit away from old Driophocles, more towards yourself? It's hard. There you go. Oh, the might and power of the mighty Matt Turner. The might and power of the Burns. Matty K in the house, say what? Matty K in the house, say what? As for the old Tono.
Diabolicus. That is a song from back in the day. Huh. We used to play that all the time back in the clubs, back in the day around here in Wisconsin and blow people's damn minds. They'd go, what is that? I said, it's the end of the world, Fritz. Listen, son. The time has come for you to take and eat. Uh, that's a song called Tonus Diabolicus. That, the tune of that is the tune that I originally left on a I left on a voice uh, voice message years ago. Uh, back when we had answering machines. What? Remember when we had answering machines? Yes. And you'd leave a guitar playing message on your answering machine. Everyone had to go through that shit. Am I right? Yes. And I left a message going. <laughs> Not in right now. But if you leave a message, I'll get right back to you. And after I left that message, people were leaving. Dude, that is so cool. You should make a tune out of it. So I did. And we were playing it for a while with the band, and I didn't have a name for it, but I had this buddy of mine named Daryl. Daryl would always find a way, no matter how much security was at an event or whatever, he'd always find a way to get a note on my pedal board. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> he had a note one time that said, you should call that song Rumpelstiltskin. I said, nope. <laughs> All right. Oh, Jay Knusen wants that leg up, foot out. Man, that's two rockers in a row. Damn. We could try it. All right, we're going to try this one. It's a pain in the ass, dudes. Dudes and dudettes. Uh, uh, what's, what's the first line I always find? People complaining. Hey, there they are. In order to get ahead. Hey. You gotta trip that someone in front of you hmm? or get a little something from the newly dead. Leg up and in the foot out. A little song from the uh, trio record. One, two, ha, ha, ha. Well, people complaining. In order to get ahead, you gotta trip that someone in front of you. Or get a little something from the newly dead. Leg up, foot out. Leg up, or foot out. Leg up, foot out. That's what it's all about. Well, there ain't no refuting the power of nepotism. And there ain't no way of fighting that organized funny biz. Leg up, foot out. Leg up, or foot out. Leg up, foot out. That's what it's all about. Leg up, foot out, that's what it's all about. Well, leg up, foot out, leg up, foot out, that's what it's all about. Well, leg up, foot out, leg up, foot out, that's what it's all about. Well, leg up, foot out, leg up, foot out, that's what it's all about. Well
leg up, foot out, leg up for a foot out, leg up, foot out, what's all about? Foot out. It's not for the uh, it's not for the faint of heart. Thank you very much, Jay Knudsen. We're glad we're able to do it for you.
made. kinds of activities. Yeah. That's a tune that was on uh, the KMT record. The last one, right, was on Sweet, uh, Sweet Gristle. Right? Up, up, uh, it was from the Upna? So. It was on the Upna. The one with the orange cover. It's so hard. It's so hard. There's so many tunes. It's so hard. So hard. So hard. Racco in the house, I see you. Racco in the house, I see you. Racco in the house, I see you. Uh, can you dig it all? Yeah. Nice one, turn of the burner, says Matt Brummett. <laughs> Canst thou diggest? That is kind of a Middle Earthian way of saying it, isn't it? Shakespearean. Canst thou diggest? I like it. <laughs> Yes, I'm enjoying, um, oh, Aurora Gallagher, Bad Penny. That is a good song. I like, uh, um, I like a bunch of those tunes, but there's uh, the tunes off of the Irish tour record. Uh, Tattooed Lady, Pretty Baby. That is a good tune. Stone Free, we don't know that one, unfortunately, Sassiket. Sassiket, Sassiket, we're going to do a song right now from the, um, from back in the day. Another? Yeah, we're going to do a Kiss Can't Get There From Here. This is a song uh, we haven't done with this ensemble yet, but we did a little sound check. It sounded good, man. Let's do it. This is a song I wrote about, uh, there, there's a place in town that we used to play all the time called The Up and Under. Did you ever play at The Up and Under back in the day? Many times. And uh, on the, uh, there was a matchbook there. It said up and under on the other side. It says, you can't get there from here. And I thought, there's a song. So uh, this is a song called, you just can't get there from here. <laughs> Yeah, I started out and you guys come in at some point. And we all come in. You come in on the one. I do like a, a progression by myself. <laughs> That southbound train is begging me to leave it all behind. You know, those northern lights, they never shined on me. I got cut to bits by the daily grind. Well, I keep on digging myself on the road. Well, I keep on digging. Lord knows it's dark and it's cold. Well, I keep on Take my way to China, y'all Before I can reach for the stars Cause you just can't get the room Goodbye 
can feel the cold wind. I'd like to say goodbye to the cold night. I'd like to say goodbye to the cold hot wah wah. Hogwarts. So tired of losing the good fight. Well, I keep on digging. My son in the hole. Well, I keep on digging. Lord knows it's dark and it's cold. Well, I keep on digging. I'm gonna dig. I live closer to Y East. They do have some delicious pizza pies. They're so tasty. Mm. Hey, Kyle Good out there. Kyle Good. He says, give that drummer some. He says, Dylan, sounds good. <laughs> Kyle Good, but in the Hinney house. We're playing some of these tunes we haven't played in spell. Well, you've never played them. These are some of these tunes that 
Doggone, Matt has never played. He's kicking ass and taking names. That's the power of Turn of the Burner. That's the power of Turn of the Burner. You know, he burns. He's not afraid to burn. And that's important. Some people don't understand it. Where'd Dylan get that bass drum cover? That's an excellent question. Linda made it for him down in Florida. Lisa, I'm sorry, why did I say that? Lisa Brady. Sorry. Lisa Brady down in beautiful Florida made that for Dylan. Because it matched, matched the cover and the hat, right? And that's, she took it from that, right? Go to her Instagram and follow her yeah. magical creation. Her magic, she is an excellent artist. She, you should see the picture she painted of, uh, of, the, uh, of Toby's octocopter. Man, it's unbelievable. Lisa Brady. <laughs> Uh, anyone knows what pickups Greg has in this Strat, please? This is a stock 74 Strat, even stock to the three, three-way toggle switch. I don't even have a five-way toggle switch in this bad boy. Uh, and it's got the old frets, so it's, uh, you have to play against it. But then, yeah, but uh, it's all stock. It's all stock from stem to stern. It's all stock from stem to stern. Sometimes I like to say... It's all stem for stem to stern. Uh, Robert says, could you please tell us about your new amps, Uncle Dre? Well, you know what? I, um, with the KMT, I've been getting to the situation where I need something a little more powerful. I need something with a little more thwack. And, uh, and for a variety of other reasons, I was just interested in maybe seeking out another amplification situation. Oh! Wow. And uh, the Tonkin people reached out, and uh, I thought, you know what? I used a uh, Tone King Imperial for the Wildwood videos for years on end, and it's a glorious amp, and I do love it. But it's a 20-watt amp, so I needed something with a little more power, and they got this new amp called the Royalist. And the Royalist is basically two Marshalls in one. It's got an attenuator on it. But right now what I'm doing is I use one channel uh, that's set to a JTM45. It's the 1964 setting on the amp. And there is an attenuator. So the great thing about this amp is, in, with all the Tone King amps, is you can overdrive the power amp section and then turn it down via an, an attenuator. But I myself am a pagan rock warlord. So I'm not using the attenuator. I just have the uh, JTM45 setting with the 1964 setting on, and I have it on about six or seven. So the amp itself is just starting to, to give a little bit. It's got some nice, uh, it's got some nice delicious bright sounds as well as the girth. And then I've just got a little bit of slap. I'm not using any uh, reverb, I just have the slap. Then I hit the Gristle King on top of that. Uh, it's a powerful device. And I'm also going out of that into the Saldano single 12 extension cabinet, although I am going to get a, an extension cap that matches the Tone King. And uh, it's bold, man. It is bold. It's a savage amplification device. All right, give us some Hendrix, please. Uh, Larry Lyon wants some Hendrix.
th this three. So it'd be Unrepento, Loons, and the, uh, um, the tea. I just burped a little bit. That's all right. More bubbly water, so I got more burping going on. I got my burping going on. And don't forget, the, uh, the Cock Marshall Trio has brand new vinyl out. You know, there was a guy that says the other day, that's a lot of money for 20 minutes of music. It's an EP. Uh, it's a lot of money to make records, folks. It's not, it's not inexpensive. And it's not like we aren't, you know, pretty good with the free content. Am I right or am I right? So um, 30 bucks for the record is really not all that much, especially when you consider the costs going into putting the damn thing out. And, it, and it's vinyl, and vinyl sounds superior. It's a superior product. Plus, it's a complete musical statement. If I didn't think it was a complete musical statement, I wouldn't have done it. You listen to those four tunes, you go, all right, I can dig it. Uh, anyway, so we're going to do a song with three songs right now. Um, uh, I've never played it on a strap before, I don't think. And we haven't done the full three with this ensemble, so it's going to be fun. Melting the farmhouse, that is correct. <laughs>
Was a good time for one and all. A little exploration. A little exploration, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for tuning in on this Friday night. 
This was a fun night of rock music. We played some new jams tonight, new old jams, but can you dig it? Um, we'll be back on Monday. Uh, no, I'll be gone on Monday. We'll be back on Friday. Actually, Friday we won't because it's Good Friday. Oh, okay. We'll commence the following week because uh, Ryan can't make it next Friday. He's got something going on. Thank you so much for tuning in. Isla Cox says hi. Isla, Isla. Kate Middleton, we saw the Kate Middleton video. Poor Kate, she's got the big C. Oh, no, really? Yeah, but they, they don't say how bad it is, but she's having treatment. Kate Middleton, she's just a delight. Kate Middleton, she's just, the time you see her doing her thing, smiling, looking glorious. I won't comment on the concept of royalty, but I will comment that she's a delight. That's what I'm going to comment on. Uh, thank you so much, folks, for tuning in. We appreciate it. You guys have a glorious Friday. Thank you, Sassy Cat. We appreciate it. And all of you who, who, have, uh, who have tipped us, we appreciate it. We'll put that money to good, to, to good, uh, to good purposes. Um, because uh, Ryan is no longer uh, with Fishman. These, these are, uh, we, we pay Ryan. So... Every every tip you give goes towards go towards the production of this fine thing, and you know the fellas here, and uh, I do it for the crack money. Uh, I'm just kidding. I shouldn't make light of crack money, but you don't know what crack I'm talking about. Could be a crack in the sidewalk, for all I know. Is it pizza night? That's a good question. Actually, you know what? We've got flank steak uh, marinating, and we got a brand new grill. Did you see the new grill? I didn't. It's under a tarp because it did snow today. Uh, they took the old one away. Got a new Weber gas grill. It's blue. It looks glorious. And uh, folks, we want to wish you a delightful uh, weekend. And we will see you. There will be a rerun on Monday and on Friday. But then we shall be back. Actually, most of April I'll be around. And we'll do Creed. Uh, and uh, Dylan wants to do some Creed. Um, there you go. Let me take you higher. Uh, have you heard Mr. Crime Dog McGruff? Yeah, I know about the Crime Dog McGruff. <laughs> he takes a bite out of crime, y'all. Thank you, Robert Escott. We appreciate that. We appreciate the loot. We appreciate... Guys, I, I got to tell you a little story just before we go. And you may see it. Next, I have a, I, there, is a, there is a Fender Custom Shop, 1968 white Stratocaster uh, that's calling my name. Why? Because it's... Because it is. It's pretty. It's Jimmy. Uh, so I may, move, I may move a couple guitars around to get that. So there may be an all-white... Big headstock strat in my future. Uh, because I just can't say no to the power. All right, folks, you have a good one. Have a great weekend. Stay safe and rock.